As you know by now, India has been killing the game cinematically for the last few years in the feature film uh, realm, no matter the genre, from RRR to Anhadun to all these fantastic movies that are different genres. So this is, I'm a little apprehensive in, in, in starting this, but this is my first Indian television series. It's on Prime, and some of you guys have been wanting me to check it out. It's called it's called Indian Police Force TV series. So right now we're going to um, talk about the first episode, and also, too, I want to read a couple of the uh, criticisms on this TV series uh, as a whole because it's kind of interesting what people are saying as far as uh, the reviewers. Uh, but let me just tell you guys right now, for the problems that I had with it, it's a lot of fun. It it shot really well. It's as if, as it's as if uh, Michael Bay went to India and did a uh, a TV series on the Delhi Police Force. You know, because it's very Michael Bay, which is good and bad, man. You know, it's just it looks good. Some kick ass scenes, and you know, uh, this first episode uh, is very much a, a pilot. Uh, in, in laying out the characters, good guys and bad guys. But I will say, because it's seven ep- seven, only seven episodes, I'm a little bit, I um, have some reservations here. But let me read the, uh, the description of this television show. It's a Hindi language action thriller streaming series on Amazon Prime. The video series is created and directed by uh, Rohit Sh- uh, uh, Shiti. Excuse me. Shiti. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> it is set in the cop universe and is produced by uh, by Shetty under the banner of Rohit Shetty Pictures with a Z. So um, it, is, it, it received uh, mixed reviews from critics and audiences alike who feel who felt the expansion of the universe had run its course. So apparently these are movies, I believe. And this is or, or maybe I'm wrong. The praise was attracted uh, by action sequences and criticisms towards story, humor, pacing, and cast performances. Now, I'm just going off of the first episode. I, like, again, we are going to have a, an episode two review as well. I want you guys to start commenting. I will reply. So this first episode is called, I believe, Raising Day. And Raising Day pertains to the Delhi Police Anniversary it's 75 years now that the uh, Delhi police force has existed. And the celebration is Raising Day. What happens is on this very peaceful day in Delhi, there are not one. There are not two. There are several bombs that explode all around uh, town. It is a full-on terrorist attack. One is thwarted. Most are a couple are thwarted, which are kind of cool. I, I gotta say, one was the, one was one was the little mini spoiler here. The one of the one of the captains, uh, he run he he runs to um, there's this kid who finds a bomb underneath a uh, underneath a bench, and he won't let go because he's afraid that he's gonna blow up. So the the captain is like being you know brave and macho and stuff. It's like give me it, and you run. And, uh, the, you know, uh, so the, the kid runs and nothing happens with the bomb. The bomb unit shows up and they, they uh, disperse. That was a nice, intense scene. I like that. Listen, I'm going to tell you, man. Again, the action setups, all that stuff is really cool. Uh, there's another one, which is a little outlandish. But uh, his buddy, I think it, I think it's like a sub. He might be a, a, a lieutenant or sergeant. But the other big star in this is uh let me get some of these names is it is it chief or dcp we'll get we'll get those names as we move along guys the other guy he thwarts a bomb uh that's placed in front of a hospital and he can't mess with the gear or with the uh with the wheel the steering wheel because the bomb is connected to the steering wheel so what does he do he jumps into a tank one of the police force tanks and he rams the car and he drives it through to another neighborhood a couple blocks down to where an empty warehouse and it explodes but he saves the hospital 
all the Indian people in the hospital are saved. <laughs> Although you never see any uh, any of the patients, even though they're saying there's still patients in there. It's like, there's patients in there? Let me go save the day. It's corny. It's goofy. It works because everything is so, so uh, um, melodramatic in this. So again, if you like that, you're going to have fun with this. Now, let's get to some of the criticisms, which I think is interesting. And it's kind of like we're, we're kind of used to this in um, a lot of television that is happening here in, in the States in regards to uh, not knowing how to write for television, even though you might have success on film or you might be a film writer. Uh, let's go right here. Let's go right here to the Indian Express. Gave it a negative review. 1.5 out of 5. Uh, Rohit has spread over seven episodes the things he does in, in two and a half hours of his blockbuster cop sagas. Evil Muslim terrorists balanced by brave Muslim cops. Clunky plots to demolish innocent lives and scores of cars and jeeps cartwheeling in the air. I don't mind that stuff. And look, I get it, right? It's Muslim, uh, Muslim, Muslim crime, you know, going up against each other. But with these types of genres, you need a bad guy. It's, someone's got to be a bad guy. Someone's got to be a good guy. And I can tell you right now that the bad guy that's introduced in the pilot, he just he's introduced at the end of the pilot. He's pretty interesting. He's pretty interesting. So, the, you know, it's not going to be just your one-dimensional, so far, uh, uh, villain. And actually, I'm more interested in him as a character than with the two lead cops. The lead cops right now are just playing that that one tone of of macho and brave and and that gets tiring so if we're going off by this you know it seems that they're spreading thin uh stuff that's in a two and a half hour movie over seven episodes we know about that we know about that that does not work i can tell you where it had, has worked in uh amazon prime shows from latin america um joaquin murieta and zorro so those tv shows really did a great job with writing for TV. It's a different animal. And it's, you know, and I can already see here, it's like, okay, you already got most of the setup in the story. What else is going to happen? So we'll see in the ne next episode, you know, with, with, uh, we'll wrap it up right now. With these types of first, first episodes, you're, you, you're, you're almost going to expect a pickup on the second because a lot of stuff has been established. And they will uh, they'll dig deeper into established characters and maybe add a character or two. I know there's a female lead. We haven't seen her yet. She's gonna come in hopefully in the second in the second episode. But if you guys if you guys like this uh, this director then uh, and like that Michael Bay style, you're gonna love this. It's a, it's it's just it's just a lot of cop fun. I don't know how else to explain it. And you know some people have problems with. Uh, Muslims always being the the villain. I get it, but it is what it is. So, so that is a kind of like mini spoiler uh, reaction review to Raising Day episode one of Indian Police Force. Have you seen it? What do you think? Let me know, man. Because you know, as we um, go to this next uh, video with the next review on episode two, we can uh, go ahead and give you guys that next. Uh, Indian uh, video right there and then let me know what you think of that video and we'll move it on from there all right thanks a lot